The fairies checked the back side of Emmy's map. This side was devoted to locating the proper food and shelter for a size medium-small fairy. In green squiggly letters, there appeared these suggestions, blue huckleberries, daffodil buds, elm tree seeds, and cherry blossoms. Underneath that was a bright pink list, slugs, snails, and ants. Ew, I don't want to eat health food. I want to try all those delicious foods I've heard so much about. Where are the peeps? What about flaming hot Cheetos? asked Boo. They started flapping their wings, and this made them hover about a foot above the sidewalk. Felix took the map from Emmy and held it up close to his face. Dangers of the neighborhood include cats, dogs, babies, bunnies. Bunnies, this place is scary. Bunnies are only the deadliest animal on the planet. All three fairies frowned, and Boo drifted back to the ground. Bunnies. Boo's stomach grumbled. Okay, let's forget the bunnies for a few minutes. I think food should come first, announced Felix. Let's find some daffodil buds. I always like those. Maybe some blue huckleberries? They might not be sour anymore. But what about peeves? whined Boo. Junk food tomorrow. Something nutritious today. We still need a place to stay. What does the map say about this building? Could we slip in for the night? Felix looked at Emmy. She was the queen of the map. She could get it to tell them anything. Let's see, she answered. She folded and unfolded the map a couple of times, and then opened it all the way. There was now a blueprint of the building. It turned out to be a school. On the side of the blueprint were some statistics about the school, including that the school was currently closed until the end of April. I can see three ways we can enter the building. There are two fairy entrances on the ground floor, and one more on the upper floor somewhere near the playground. Plus, there won't be any people for a while since it's shut down. We can just stay here. Now for a map locating some food. More folding and unfolding. Then a new map showing food. Two blocks from here, we have a whole yard of daffodils, and in the other direction, there are at least three huckleberry bushes. Now to find a predator map. Still more folding and unfolding. Okay, it looks like we have several dangerous fuzzy things to look out for. Good thing it just rained. We will find the footprints and look up the critters. The friends stood up and started walking in the direction of the huckleberries.